In third grade today, we're going to use a simple machine. And does anybody know what that simple machine is? What? A lever. A lever. Now, a lever, I was calling, I see you've done a really good job with these kids. And Mr. Bomber, because they said lever. So, uh, Mr. Bomber, do you have time to be in this also? I actually have to go watch half my class, but okay, I'm, good. I will uh, I, right. I choose science. Okay, good. So, um, I have a lever right here, and a lever has two parts. Did you know that? Yes. yes. A lever has, uh, it needs something that's called the, uh, um, oh, what? The, um, fulcrum. The fulcrum. fulcrum. Everybody fulcrum. say fulcrum. 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 And it also has a thing called, uh, yes. Well, the fulcrum is a pivot. Oh. But it is, yes. Um, the load. The load, that's good. There's a load, there's effort. How about the bar? The bar. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to use this lever. Now, um, Ms. Clark, you have some muscles, right? Wow. Let's look at the muscles here. Mr. Bumper, let's see your muscles. Whoa. Yeah. So, uh, now, do you think you could have to? Do you think you could have to? You could whip this guy up? Maybe. 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 If you had to, could if you I lift? Had to. lift oh, yeah. oh yeah. He says, "Who puts their? Who thinks that this guy's got the muscles to lift up the teacher?" Raise your hand. Who thinks that this very professional, strong lady could lift up? Wow. Well, let's just try it. Okay. So here's we're gonna try it. So there you go. Miss uh, Clark. You come over here, and stand, and you put your hand on my shoulder, no falling around. All right, now, get down your hands and knees right there, please. On the count of three. On the count of three. Quiet, please. You're going to push down, and we're going to send Miss Clark up through the ceiling tile. Sit down, sit down. Here we go. Let's see your muscles. Ready. Get, oh, look at him. He's got his muscles. All right, you have a helmet? If, when you come down, I'll try to catch you. I'll try to catch you. Here you go. One, two, three, go. This time is one. One. Everybody, help me out. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. I feel so sorry for you, Miss Clark. Let's see if Miss Clark can lift you up. Let's see if Miss Clark can lift you up. Stand right here. Here we go. Stand on that. Put your hand on my shoulder. No falling. Miss Clark. I'm Miss Clark. Excuse me. Quiet, please. Just for a second. One hand only. This is using what? science, a simple machine, and using your brain to do muscle. Ready? One, two, three. What? <laughs> what do you have to say? Pushing down. And, um, he's going up because he's going up. Because she has, well, she has, and the fourth one's right here, so like she gets more, um, she gets more effort. Yeah, and you know what? Here's the thing to remember about this: on a simple machine, it's not less work; it's just making the work easier over a long distance. Look how, look how much she had to push. So that is a big distance. Would you say? Yeah. She, had, um, she, had, um, she had easier work. She had easier work. Do you guys hear that? I'm going to write that word. A simple machine makes work, what is it? Easier. Easier. You know, not 
what? Not less, right? Not less work. Now, we have to talk about work. And I, you, uh, what's your name? Renee. Renee, help me out here. So that's a big distance, but a small force. Renee, turn around here. Turn around here. Boys and girls, in your book, there's a thing about work. Scientists say work is this. Put your hands up here, Renee. Against me. Push. Come on, Renee, push. Is, is Renee doing any, is he doing any work? No. Scientists would say no. Work, I'll, I'll push it, is when you use when you use a pull. Now, is he doing work now? Yes. Yes. This is important. Repeat after me. Science says. Science says. We call it work. We call it work. When you use a force. When you use a force. To move an object. Move an object. <laughs> so that's work. Go ahead, push me. That's work. But is this work? Push. Is this work? No. No. Come on, look, look at your teacher when you do that. Come on. No work. Can I push? This is not work. Go ahead, Renee. Show him work. That's work. So we have up here big distance, small force. And we have a, in miniature a, a, a small example of the same thing that occurred between the two teachers. We have three levers here in which they both, all three are lifting the same load. All those three of those locks weigh the same. But notice the location of the fulcrum in each one of these like we saw this morning. This lever lifting the same load is very hard to push, but I have to only go a small distance, but it is very hard to push, but it moves the load the largest distance. But you notice the fulcrum is the farthest away from the load. It is closer to the force, which happened this morning when uh, the teacher wasn't able to lift the other teacher. This one is the easiest to move, but you notice how I move it a long distance. Notice the red area. But it's very easy to move, and the reason it's easy to move, even though it's lifting the same weight, is because the fulcrum is the closest to the load. The one in the middle is kind of intermediate, and due to the fact that the fulcrum is half, almost halfway in between the effort and the load, so that the force that we're applying here is equal to what the lock actually weighs. So just remember, the closer the fulcrum is to the load, the easier it is. The further away the fulcrum is from the load, the load will move the largest distance, but it requires a very large force over a small distance. The easiest one is takes a large distance and a small force to move the load a small distance, but it is the easiest. So you can experience this by uh, passing it around and trying it yourself, and it'll sum up the same situation that occurred this morning between the two teachers. Well, and so I have a little hook right here. Mrs. Clark, you can hang something on there and let the kids try this on the floor. And there's a lot of different, a lot of different levers around. Even in this room, there's some levers. Okay, so here is a, a lever you might find at home. Look, you may not think that's a lever, but look, where's the fulcrum? Oh, right here, middle. Show me where. The two bars. The two bars. There's the bars, but where's the fulcrum? In the middle. And so here's the effort, and oh, there's the load. Oh, you don't want to. You believe me? No, okay. I'll, 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 what about this? Oh, no. What kind of simple machine? Oh, yeah. What kind of simple machine? A lever. A lever. A lever. Uh, if you look around the room, there's all kind of levers. In fact, I saw a stapler. Mrs. Clark, how is this a lever? We have two bars. We have two bars. And the fulcrum. Where's the fulcrum at? Right here. Excellent. Okay. And I see you have a paper cutter yes, over there. Yes, talked about how that was one. But here's one that you may not think is a lever. Do me a favor. Uh, would you pull this nail out of here with your finger? Go ahead. Come on, pull. That's kind of hard to do, isn't it? I will try. But let's use a lever. This is a hammer, but most kids don't know the back of this claw is called a lever. Look, you have to push it after you use the there's the arm. Yeah. Here's the fulcrum. Now, 
Let's see here. Let's see if we can get this one. Ready? Here's the arm. Slowly. Now she had a hard time with her fingers, but go ahead and pull that on the end. Pull it slow. Slow. Pull. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wow. So she did the same amount of work. She couldn't pull it with her fingers, but she could with a long arm. Go ahead and hammer that back in. Don't hit my finger. <laughs> oh, she missed it. <laughs> Good job. Once again, this morning we were talking about the fulcrum being in between the load and the effort, but here we have a situation where the fulcrum is at the end, just like the stapler. And in this case, the effort is placed in between the load, because the load is what you're picking up with the ice tongs, and so the effort is placed in between. There are There's another lever where the fulcrum is at the end, the effort is at the other end, and the load is in between. So there are different classes of levers. But now, we were talking this morning about the location of the fulcrum in relation to the load. These particular are called shears, and they're made to cut metal. Of course, you know metal is pretty hard and tough. So in order to get the leverage that you need to cut that metal, you notice how long the lever, the, where the effort is from the fulcrum, and then how short the cutting edge is. And that's in order to apply tremendous amount of force by placing that fulcrum, which is the bolt that's in there, close to the load in order to get the tremendous force that you need to cut metal. So they're giving you, and there are some, that the bolt, the fulcrum is here and the handles are this long, especially those that are cutting tree limbs and things like that, in order to give you the mechanic, what they call a mechanical advantage, or to make the work easier. Same amount of work, but just to make it easier by using a small force. Okay, so you look at on page 56 and 57 in your book, and can you find the lever right there anywhere in, on that book? And I need a reader. Would you read this out loud for me? A read lever that, yeah. is a, sti a stiff of <coughs> a bar that rests on a support. A lever a is lever. a stiff bar that rests on a support. What else? A lever is used to lift and move things when you push down it one, uh, on one, one end. and the other end lifts up. That is so good. Take a look. See if you can use your lever right here on your desk. You have a block of wood for the fulcrum and a plastic rod. See if you can set that up and move it up and down like a lever. Go ahead, try it. I want to see what's how, how this is turning out. Okay, I see some different things going on here. Move it up and down, move it up and down. Show me up and down. Nice, who else can show me? I can. Let's see it, let's see it. There you go. Nice. It's kind of hard. It's a slippery book. Keep working. Let's see. Move the fulcrum close to the book. Nice. 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 It's lifting up. Show me. Wow. Try the fulcrum halfway to the book. Now, you don't have to push as far, do you? But is it harder or is it easier to push? Harder. You think? Harder. Okay. Harder? Because look, it won't even lift. It doesn't pull very much. It doesn't pull it very much. No. Now move the fulcrum far back from the book. Let's move it even farther back. Now try it. Is that hard? Say it again. Try it. Try it. Come on. Where's the sound effect? <laughs> You're lifting a book, so science says when you use a force to move an object, what object are we moving? Oh, a book. Our science book, right? So it's not like I tell you to lift one heavy book and one light book. The work is the same. So a simple machine makes work what? Easier. Easier. Okay. But here's the thing. If we have a big F, that stands for big force. If we have a small f, what does that stand for? Less force. Less force. If we have a big D, what do you think that stands for? Less 
Distance. 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 And if we have a small d, what do you think that's called? Distance. Okay, so show me. This is big force. Show me big force. And this is small force. This is big distance. And this is small distance. All right, so here's what I want you to do. And I'm not going to tell you the answer to this. But on these two different examples, example A and example B, where is their big distance? Where is their small distance? Where is their big force? Where is their small force? And the work is the same. So that will be your assignment, okay? About, I really like how you guys are reading about levers. I don't like how you're reading about levers, how you're drawing levers, and how you're trying levers. And for the next couple weeks, we'll be studying levers, and then we'll be studying other simple machines. That, and they all have one thing in common. All simple machines make work, work easier. Make work easier.